better than anything. Okay. When did you become such a, I guess, student of the game? After the game, you mentioned you were noticed tendencies and things like that. When did you start to really keen up some of that stuff? Oh, man. Uh, I would say close, not close to the end of my career, but um, as I got some maturity under me and I understood the game is uh, kind of more mental than physical. Uh, that's what kind of separate the best uh, from the great. So. Coach Campbell had said maybe he thought maybe you realized like, okay, you had to make up for some of those areas like size. Is, was that kind of maybe the aha moment for you realizing, okay, I may not have the size of other guys, so I got to find a way to make sure it's in other areas? Uh, yeah, I know me and Coach Campbell also talked about that, but I, I guess there's always been a chip on my shoulders. Um, uh, like like you said, maybe taller than me, where can I beat you? Where is my strength, you know? So. How do you feel like you changed over the offseason? I mean, Coach Campbell's talking about, obviously, you know, on-field stuff has, has improved, but even leadership and, and things like that. How, do you feel like you changed much? Oh, yeah, um, definitely. You can see it, and even in the culture of the team, um, just like last year, we had some success, but... Um, Leaders haven't been in that position. We have, we've never been in that role. Uh, so me coming back another year and kind of having the same uh, challenges, I'm kind of understanding more and I'm able to lead a team in uh, ways that I wasn't able uh, to lead last year. How do you kind of try to take some of those younger guys uh, under, your, under your wing a little bit, like Daytron or Anthony Johnson, obviously was playing a lot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those guys, uh, it's, it's very easy leading them because they want to be led. Um, but like like I said, knowing that the game is more mental than physical, and I just stand in the present moment. I know young guys, you can get out uh, to looking at the statistics and things and of the future, and uh, that's one thing I kind of harp on, to just stay in present. You said that's kind of a chip on your shoulder, the, the size part. How much do you hear about that in terms of maybe hindering your game? Uh... You said hindering. I mean, yeah, I, don't think I, mean it, how much, <laughs> I know you don't think it does, but how often do you, I guess, hear people say maybe that is something that would hinder most guys with your size? Oh, uh, I, I guess you can see it all over the country, not just me, but other guys in my position, guys that have been there before. Uh, I know like a guy that Ellis Hobbs, I mean, he, he came through these doors before and kind of I received the same criticism and I did the unspeakable. So, I mean, it's, it's across the nation. So. Guys haven't really thrown at you a lot this year. Do you, do you like that, or do you, you wish people would throw at you? Because it's kind of, I mean, it's a respect thing, probably, I mean, because they try to go other parts of the field. But do you wish you had more opportunities to, to make plays on the ball? Uh, that's that's a good one. Uh, honestly, that's a good day for me. You no know, balls <laughs> thrown at me. Um, yeah, it's kind of chill. So I kind of I kind of like that aspect, the respect aspect of it. So yeah. How tough of a decision was it for you? Because I remember it sounded like you were a little torn on whether or not you would come back this season. I guess what pulled you into coming back? Oh, man, just I guess being in that position and knowing that it was unfinished business and personally, I'm um, talking with my family, praying over it. Um, I, I knew it was my, my place to be back here and I just, just leave what I had. So Were you close to not coming back? I, like I said before, it was all 50-50. Sure. Um, like you, you would hear one conversation which was kind of biased one way, and another conversation that was biased towards another way. And I just stay level-headed, and I chose the decision that I made. How how do you make up for? I know you had said, and Coach Campbell had said, you know, when NFL teams are looking at pro potential, they look at a lot of the stuff like the size. I guess when you don't have the size that they're looking for, how do you try to turn their heads? Uh, like me and Campbell talk about, just, just how I play on the field. Um, a lot of things can be measured on a, on a board about how I play. So um, when you cut on the film, you, you'll see who Brian PV is. Do you feel like you're able to do anything different on the field this year coverage-wise that you kind of maybe added through various ways to your game? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think there's a lot of weaknesses in my game after kind of breaking it down with uh, Coach McDonald and like uh, Coach Campbell and understanding that um, our discipline is a big thing. And like I said, even even like uh, entertaining the NFL, they kind of gave you feedback, and that was one of the things. So that's one of the things I kind of harp on now. So, Coach compared Baylor's athletic ability to teams like West Virginia, Oklahoma. What have you seen from them? How do they compare in your mind? Oh yeah, another Big 12 team. Um, explosive, got guys they they can spread the field out. Um, size, just like West Virginia. Uh, yeah, it's another Big 12 team, honestly. So. Being a Texas kid, what was it like playing your first cold ball game up here? <laughs> oh, man, I don't even think – I think it was more like the bus rides to class and, and getting to class that kind of shocked me. 
Um, but the cold, oh my, it's, I mean, you try to wrap up as best as possible, honestly. So. On the field. I'm talking about on the field. Yeah, you. I'm trying to wrap up. Yeah, you wrap you wrap up as yeah. far as clothing. Uh, Are you a sweatshirt guy, like a hoodie guy? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a hoodie guy. So. <laughs> I was it tough though your first game in the cold? You probably don't remember back that far. Uh, I mean, I red shirted, so I was on the sideline, yeah. so that was even that worse. worse. <laughs> yeah, that was worse. But like I said, you kind of bundle up, you know. So. <laughs> That's, so what's it be like? Because there were for years and years and years that Texas schools never came north in November. True. So what's it and the weather's supposed to be shit, uh, bad, bad on Saturday? So what's what's it gonna be like for for, for the Baylor guys? They're gonna have to wrap up. Just like in high school, we we even wore hoodies because we thought it was cold. And what was that? 40, 50 degrees? That maybe sixty, but you just you hoodie, you hoodie up, you know. When you're, against, when you're going against Rock in practice, 